Well, today we're in a place that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. The Old Faithful Geyser of California. I thought there was only, only one, one Old Faithful. Apparently there's three. Yeah. Can Where's I... the third one at? I don't know. Anyway, there's three. <laughs> the one is obviously in Yellowstone, which we were at a couple months ago. Yeah. Which was very cool. This one's smaller, obviously. Uh, yeah. But um, there's only three that are named Old Faithful in, in the yeah. country. And they're named Old Faithful because they're very predictable. Yeah. On when they're going to erupt. I was reading a little bit about this and maybe we'll see some more information and share it with you but I was reading that uh, the only time that this doesn't go off on regularly scheduled times yeah. um, is when there's uh, an earthquake about to happen oh so, so if it doesn't go off you should exactly worry. <laughs> they said if it if it's disrupted um, you know significantly that means within the next couple weeks there's going to be an earthquake within 500 miles of this location wow and it, it's like and it's very accurate so when this is off there's going to be an earthquake wow interesting stuff they have some farm oh. animals here too yeah yeah so that'll be cool they have um alpacas they have the rams uh, and then they have what? They have fainting goats. Fainting goats. Maybe we can get one to faint. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I've always wanted one. This will be the second best thing. I've never seen fainting goats in person. In person, yeah. I can watch the videos of them oh, yeah. all day long on YouTube. <laughs> Just fainting goats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The third Old Faithful is not in the United States. No. It's in New Zealand. New Zealand. I was thinking there's three in the United States. There's only three in the, the world. world. So now we've been to two out of three. <laughs> two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, I don't foresee us ever seeing yeah. the New Zealand one. <laughs> if you've been to the one in New Zealand, please send us a picture yeah. or a video or something because we'd like to I'm see curious. the third one. I'd like to compare it. Maybe we'll get on the Google. Maybe we will. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is behind us and unlike the one at Yellowstone this one goes off for 45 minutes to an hour at a yeah. time because we got here and we're paying and we're like when's it go off she got oh it, it just started. started and I was like ah oh, man because the one at, at uh, Yellowstone if you get there when we pulled up to the parking lot it was going off yeah only went off for like five minutes yeah so we had to wait the whole another like hour and a half for it to go off again but this one she's like oh don't worry about it because we were like, oh, dang, we missed it. She's like, oh, no, it goes off for like 45 minutes to an hour yeah, at a time. That's insane. Yeah. So, hour and a half to two hours in between going off, but it goes off longer. So, you yeah. have a good chance of catching it. And it is cool. Um, they have all kinds of seating out here, uh, yes. different activities. Little gazebos. Little bocce to ball. Sit under, bocce so, you could ball. just hang out here and just watch the geyser go off and just chill. Yeah, it's you pretty can, cool. You, you, you're allowed to bring food, so it says you can picnic out here if you want and watch it. It'd be a good day to just come out and picnic and watch the geyser. Yeah. So, not bad. Um, it smells wonderful. That sulfur mist, that sulfur. Yeah, smell. as soon as you get here and into this area, just when the wind was yeah. blowing and it's whoosh. The smells of Yellowstone come right back into your <laughs> yes, nose. It does. Yeah, but it's cool. We'll take you around the rest of the farm yeah. and uh, show you some of the areas around here and some of the animals. baby goats that they yeah. have out here they're so cute and they're hungry yeah they are and so when you try to feed them look at this guy you're ornery you're ornery he's been ramming the other ones like he just rammed that guy uh he wants all the food man so hey every, kindness will get you further sir every family's got that one <laughs> 
Oh, baby. Yeah. He, mm. And we are out. We don't even have any food. We're out of food. Leslie was just collecting pellets down here to give to him because we didn't actually buy any food. Yeah. But there's enough. Um, Kids drop them. Yeah. So, so she was giving it to him. And um, this guy, even after the food's out, even if there's a crowd, he thinks there's food. So he just rams people. Yeah. Jeez. But they're very cool. They're very cute. Uh, we also got to see the. Um, Stop it. What was it? <laughs> guard llamas. Guard llamas. Yeah. I don't know if that's the name of them or if they actually guard stuff. Well, they obviously call them guard llamas because I guess they use them to be on guard. Which I've heard they're a little aggressive anyway, so it's yes. probably good to have a guard llama sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't think they could be that aggressive, but they can be. Yeah. It's pretty hot, so the animals aren't really moving out a lot. No. It, all the fainting goats are huddled under the tree way out in the pasture. Yeah. Uh, we did get a couple of goats come up close to us. These guys aren't shy at all. No. And then um, the four-horned sheep, they're kind of just laying around lazy too. Yeah. Everyone um, wants... Stop it. <laughs> I, you bit your face. God don't like ugly. <laughs> don't like ugly. <laughs> I wanted to talk about a couple of things before we went inside. Yeah. So they got this... Uh, it's like a mineral sauna pool Therm hot tub thing thermal pool. Yeah. yeah so i guess what they did was they rerouted some of the well there are hot water. springs out here they call them the hot springs of the west yeah but they basically built up this above ground like looks like hot tub yeah. out of the lava stones the indians did back in the 1930s yeah and they like rerouted some of the mineral water the hot mineral water into that tub and it just stayed that temperature pretty much year round yeah and they built the little stairs to go down and everything like that which is very cool yeah. pretty good idea yeah old school hot tub man Thank you. I don't like a hot tub yeah if you don't like a hot tub get out of here <laughs> um, the next thing is the well and so I'm expecting okay well they get some of the mineral water and then maybe they um, boil it to cook, to, with. to cook with and stuff like that not the case no. they use the well to cook with yeah because they rerouted some of the steam to that area so where the steam would push up out of the well and instead of having the basket to go down to get water like a traditional well this basket took the food down took the food down and so the steam would cook the food yeah steamy vegetables steamy fish that's crazy old school steamer innovative very innovative <laughs> so now they got a hot tub and they got steamed vegetables it did sound so bad back it's in actually the 19... pretty good in the 1930s right here yeah <laughs> all right here goes a tour of the museum i'll take your questions <laughs> That's about it. There's not a whole lot to see in there. Once you see the geyser and there's little placards everywhere learning information. And once you see the animals, pretty much that's it. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's a neat place if you had kids and a group of you brought yeah. your kids out here. They can run around like chickens with their heads cut off. Yeah, you could definitely spend a whole day out here. They encourage you to bring wine and snacks and Picnic. just lounge. They have gazebos to lounge at all over the place. It's really cool. Yeah, and with the guys are going off for 45 minutes to an hour at a time, I mean, it's really just good, like, kind of like zen, yeah. chill, yeah, relax. Chill, you hear relax. the, Look at the mountains. splashing of the geyser water yeah. in the background and just kind of enjoy your day. So it's not bad. Um, if you're just going to come here just to see the geyser and the animals and stuff, it's probably a little spendy. Yeah. 15 bucks a person. We got a discount for being military. Yeah, we got $2 off. Each, um, so. But if you're going to spend the day, definitely worth it, I think. Yeah, just a couple of hours, especially because you have to go through Napa to get here. So it's like if you hit all the wineries. Yeah, very and stuff, scenic. And you bought cheeses and crackers and you bring it out here and then you just exactly. watch the geyser. Just yeah, and the animals. scenery is just awesome. It's beautiful out here. It's so just beautiful. definitely worth coming out here for uh, to see one of the three old faithfuls. Yeah. Who knew? Not us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at the Petrified Forest. Mm -hmm. It's a first for me. It's a first for me too. I've never been to a Petrified no. Forest before. Interesting. And, uh, there's a 
it looks like, uh, I wonder why it's just like pieces. Why, why wouldn't the whole tree be petrified in like one gigantic? If it was already a downed thing. tree. It seems like some, some of them are so precisely, you know, it looks like they were cut first. You think? I know it's not the case, but it just seems like that. It might have fell because there's the stump right there. Yeah. And so there was a, there was a volcano that went off. Yes. That caused the petrification of all the trees out here. Not all the trees, but the ones that are petrified. Mm -hmm. And um, and then there was a fire back in 2017, 17. which must have really scared these trees because they look petrified. I, I knew it. <laughs> you got to throw a dad joke in, man. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Let's go. The ash falls. Yes. How'd you guess? It's where the ash fell. Yeah. You have a plethora of knowledge. <laughs> Mount St. Helena is that way. Yes. That's where the eruption took place. Mm -hmm. And then I guess. It was an ash cloud. Yeah. And then the ash falls down. It, yeah, it cooled. The, the smaller parts cooled while in air and landed. Well, that's what set the, the trees mm -hmm. on fire. A very scientific process yeah floated to the ground buried the trees which compressed them mm -hmm. causing them to petrify yes that's it that's it that's how it works who needs nat geo when i got you i know right <laughs> it's probably not even close to how it works <laughs> uh, i just going off the diagram <laughs> this is the queen big sequoia that mm -hmm. has now been preserved and yes. she is eight feet in diameter and 65 feet long. Bigger than our RV. Yeah. And probably a lot heavier oh, yeah. than our RV. <laughs> yeah. And Not the cool part that. is, there's a crack in the middle of it. Yeah. And this oak tree's growing out the middle of it. Yeah, which is insane that it could force its way through. Well, you see the stuff crack. forces its way through like concrete and sidewalks yeah. and stuff all the time. So I guess nature's, you know, more powerful than uh, technology. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well these trees are going to translate on camera. Yeah. Do they look petrified on camera or do they just look like we're showing trees? It looks like we're showing trees. <laughs> I'm, I'm Trust confident. me, they're petrified. They are. It's crazy. It is hot, man. It's, it's, it's a warm it's, one today. It's hot out today. But it could be worse. Yeah, tomorrow it'll be worse, actually. Well, I was going to say, it could be 3.4 million years ago. Mm -hmm. And hot magma <laughs> could be flowing <laughs> all through here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. We had fun. Uh, and yeah. like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.